John Morant. He's really, been, since coming back from the back injury, he's done a lot of good things for them and put them back into contention here with Yeah, they're really finding out who they are. And uh, Morant, he's a really good player, you know, very athletic. Um, you know, it's not your average rookie out there. So, uh, but he's a really good point guard. He's getting his teammates involved. And uh, Memphis has been playing really good basketball lately. And uh, we noticed that. And uh, that's why we got to go in there and really uh, give it our all uh, to win. How do you think your knee is progressing since when you first came back? How, how's it feeling? It's progressing. It's definitely getting better. And uh, like I said, it's going to be, you know, ups and downs along the way. But uh, down the road, it should be just continuing and continuing to get better. And I, and I am feeling better. Do you feel like you'll be close to 100% within the coming weeks, closer to the end of the season? No, it's, it's going to be a little while. And uh, But as long as I keep continuing to, you know, uh, be consistent in playing and helping our team as going forward in the right direction. That's all that matters. I know we've asked you these questions before. Is there any kind of different mindset you're starting tomorrow night uh, as opposed to when you're coming off the bench as the first half of the bench, that kind of thing? Uh, well, it's always different coming off the bench. That's always the toughest because you're just coming in cold and you got to try to make a spark throughout the game. And uh, when you're starting, you're always you're in the flow of the game. So, uh, you know, but it doesn't change my mentality of what I need to do out there and I, I, I want to create a spark every time I step on the floor. Has anything surprised you about how you're doing physically with the knee and everything or is it kind of what you thought? Um, it's kind of what I thought and you know uh, I've had knee surgeries before and um, so it's, it's going to be a process out there. and plus I'm older now so it's, it's going to be a little bit of a process but I am getting better feeling better and and uh, I expect to for sure feel good along the way. The other night, you? James and Russell both had 30 plus points, I think, for the second time all season. Does that make y'all like, really hard to beat when they're both putting up that many points? Yeah, it's all about, uh, you know, for us and them to just be uh, consistent. You know, they play, of course, they're they're play big time playmakers and, and all, but if we, we play consistent. I get all the other guys will feed off their energy and what they bring to the table and uh, makes the game a lot more easy. Is it your plan to play back to back both games this week? That's what I plan to. That's what I want to do. And uh, you can see how the first game go. And uh, I uh, think I'm going to be playing somewhat limited minutes both games. So that's that's the plan. Is that kind of a step to be able to play in back to back in the rehab? Yeah, yeah, because I want, I want to do that. And, uh, you know, like I said, I just got to continue to get better conditioning. And uh, playing back to backs will only help and, uh, along, along this process. In terms of kind of mechanics on your shot, do those kind of feel the same even with your knee, or is it something you've had to adjust? Well, no, it's I always try to shoot the same way, you know. But uh, you know, at this point, I really just gotta go out there and play, and uh, I'm feeling better, and uh, I just gotta just go out there and just do what I need to do. Are you able to kind of not think about the knee when you're out there? Is it still kind of yeah? Like that's the thing. That's the good thing about this process is I don't really have to worry about it too much, and uh, when I when I already know it's gonna, I'm gonna continue to make strides to get better. Thank you. Thank you.